something that I want you guys to do with real wood. Today we're doing real estate. This is Taylor Morris home, six bedroom, four and a half. Or it could be a five and a half bath, three car garage, 4,181 square foot. Feet. So that's what I'm going to see. Square feet. Good job. Okay. Then we got a porch. Let me see how you look sitting on the porch, old man, watching the kids play. We feel like porches are so important. You want to sit on the porch and watch your kids play outside? Yeah, I never come outside. <laughs> well, I'll be sitting on the porch with the baby. How about that? And you'll be chasing kids down the road. Welcome into my new home. <laughs> this the one wood. You ain't even toured it yet. <laughs> All right, so we first walk in. This is an office. So for me, this will be a no. I know it's an easy fix, but when we get our house, a requirement for our office is doors. The home office we have right now doesn't have doors. My husband said you could put up the doors. I don't like not having doors with kids. The dining area in the front. The formal dining. You can't see the kitchen. And nothing, so they They say they bringing this stuff back. We got to eat. We got to eat without um Without y'all watching TV and stuff like that. I think that's the way it came from. People be trying to watch TV. Yep. So we got our first half bath right here. <laughs> I like Taylor Morrison, though, as a builder. I feel like they are going back to the traditional stuff where. They made the master bedroom downstairs. I see that's what they were doing. Ooh, look how big these nightstands are. You have so much space in this room. Those things are huge. Most nightstands are half of this space. Yeah, we can. You're right. That's huge. It's huge. There's so much space you got left over. <laughs> oh, wow. I got a tub. It got the split sinks. So Building vanities. Throne room. A tub is so required. I love that the tub and shower are separate. Oh, two closets. Well, that'll be my closet. You got most stuff to me. Designer, 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 designer. You got a window in this closet, guys. I think that this is necessary. Does it have the AC vent? It does. How y'all feel about it? Y'all feeling it? Little window, huh? I said most of it in the house. Oh, in the closet. Gotcha. I ain't think about that. The ones just pull open, but the walking closet. We dragging our feet this whole video, guys. Sorry about that. I've been doing the same thing. We just in like a chill mode today. So you would come out of your formal dining room. This is what you would see. This is most likely a pantry. Yeah. Oh, no. A storage closet. Pleasantly surprised. I love that they got a beverage fridge. What, my perfume? No, baby, that's me. Oh, now why they got to have my dream stuff in here? They got two golf carts. Y'all know I'm buying me a golf cart. Three golf carts. So this is a three-car garage. I don't think I love these styles. But you pull one car up here, and then the other two cars will be right here. I don't like that. I guess that'll be good. Can we go through this door, too? I don't know. That probably is outside. Nope. You got a mud room, laundry room. Wow. I like this. This is like the houses you would see on TV where I want the ones that got the back staircase. You remember how you would watch, like, Sister, Sister? And they'll come down. One person might come down the front stairs, and the other person come down the back stairs. I ain't never see that. You you ain't watch Sister Sister. I was gonna say everybody watch Tia and Tamara. Don't do that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, Peach Pack. So you gonna tell us about the kitchen, babe? It has a separate island in the back. You don't like that? So you know you got money. You ain't gonna be cooking your own food. Back here, we got like our regular bar stool every day, but when we have our private chef come over and cook for us, then look, they got the sink over here for the chef. He could be over here. Nobody's in his way. Everybody else could be sitting over here eating and drinking. Then you have your regular dining area, like 
your everyday dining area, you could always put a nook there. So what this is like a, this ain't no microwave, so they put a microwave right there. It's double ovens. Mm. You got a big family, baby. They got everything you need. We need stuff like that. We have a huge family. And this house is less than a million dollars, which is a plus, I think. So my husband don't seem that impressed. You want to go out to the pool area now, or are you going to wait? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wood don't like this house. I can tell he already misses stuff. He's like, uh-uh. Okay. You eager to go upstairs. So downstairs, they only got one room downstairs so far, just the parents. Comment down below if y'all like that setup. I didn't like that. The house we live in now, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, this is camera. Uh, it looks like that's just the way it seems. And this is in Pasco uh, County, Florida, so Wesley Chapel, Florida. Pasco covers Dade City, Florida, which is another place to go for affordable real estate. Uh, Zephyr Hills is also Pasco County, right, babe? Wesley Chapel is a little bit more, um, a little bit more city life than Zephyr Hills and Dade City, but more affordable than hillsborough county a home like this in tampa florida is definitely gonna run you over a million dollars so moving out this way you're gonna save at least three hundred thousand. how you feel about the outdoor area you like it you had me see a vision board i like how they still have more room over there like i could make that a kids play area i like this house some of the features of it Thank you, Daddy. So, guys, I don't know if you noticed, you have your regular sliding doors. And then over here, you have your regular door that you could just walk out of. I'm actually not a fan of sliding doors. I like regular doors unless it's like the one in the previous home. If you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. It's on my husband's page, Every Day with Woolet. I can't wait to see the view. I feel like a loss is so necessary. Where we going? All righty. So this is the second bathroom. Third. Oh, second full bath. Okay, you're right. Downstairs was a half bath. I don't like that the toilet by the tub. But I think that's normal in the kids' rooms. So this room Ooh, I like this setup. Amazing and wonderful. You could even put a third bed. Phenomenal. I never seen this kind of stuff. This is I'm cute. No room for what's name, so it's just going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so we were talking about how when we get into the higher income homes, I always be like, ain't nowhere to put the TV. Y'all didn't leave a spot for the TV. But the book we're reading was talking about how Successful people don't watch TV. Their kids don't watch TV like that. They have movie theater rooms, and it's on the other side of the house, so it takes more effort. Second bedroom. Well, third bedroom, second bed bedroom upstairs. They have it converted to an office. I'm out of breath, y'all. I got to lose this weight. Oh, you is? Oh, what, just me? Oh, okay. Okay, Taylor Morrison going to have my heart. This is like one of my first time seeing a black family on the wall they got some white ones right here too i like that good job taylor morrison inclusivity matters they're like black people with a chinese kid adoption matters all right chinese you got your hispanics i like that good job biracial i think they look biracial that's important. Inclusion matters because all of those different races or ethnicities, they are homeowners. Oh, wow. I also like that these closets have a door. I'm not sure if the other ones had doors, but you just get the regular racks in here. I think the wooden ones are upgrades. I'm not really a fan of the wooden ones. I like the old school ones. Oh, I like this lamp. You can always come to new real estate to get design ideas. That is so cute. I like the wallpaper too. Love it. Oh, you want to get your butt toe up real quick, Wood? Bop! 
And this is a huge ping pong table. Oh my God, this house is nice. Movie room. So listen, this house is six bedrooms. This is not considered a bedroom in Florida because there is no closet. This is literally a movie room. But if you have a big family and you want to convert it into something else, more than welcome to. It could be your hair salon. It could be another bedroom. Completely up to you. You don't have to have a closet to make it a room. But in Florida, you do. I would love this. Mom, food ready? I could just scream. I could be like, y'all bring y'all butts downstairs and eat dinner, right? But we have Alexas and stuff now, so you can just be like, Alexa, tell all the kids to come down. I love that Taylor Morrison is still giving old school tradition, what you used to see in the movies and want for yourself. What's that? Okay, thank you. Right, so this Bedroom number five. Yep, upstairs. So the fourth room upstairs. So this could be a massive. They got uh connecting no, rooms. Down, this is the Janie and Jack. Yeah, oh that's what it is. Okay. Built in linen closet. I ain't gonna lie though. The wood kinda look good in the closet. See. Like, this is like the Airbnbs. Ooh, look at the walk in closet, babe. Look, this could be Greg and McIntyre room. A Greg and Choice. I mean, um, Choice and McIntyre rooms. Because we're going to separate them. McIntyre on his own room. Choice on his own room. Toilet tub. Other sink. I love the one the closet have a window. Oh, this is so cute. So how would we do this? You like this house? They have sevens as well. They just don't have a model. So if you want a house at, at a seven bedroom yeah, for less than a million dollars, they have it here. So that's just like a decoration. So that's how they got their dining, dining table. What? But that is just like decoration. Nobody ever going that bitch to eat. Yeah, the formal dining. Oh, but you didn't point out this either. They have this built-in study area. I like this. And I like how they... Uh, display at the home because we are a family of different age kids. Our oldest is 16. Our youngest is only eight months. So we could put our oldest over here. For me personally, though, I would probably put Choice right here, McIntyre right here, and they could share a bathroom. And then if we were to get a home like this, I know we want seven bedrooms. Oh, ooh, sorry, Daddy. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. I would put... um. Maybe Choice and Grid, but I would put the babies right here. Wonderful, phenomenal, amazing. You could even add a third bed. It's big enough, guys. And then they would have to share this bathroom. Over here would be gorgeous. And then right here could be Gregory McKay. But I don't know if this would work because they don't got his own bathroom. But they have the option to put an extra bathroom. So Gregory probably wouldn't want to be over here with these <laughs> Kids. So I guess we'll have to change it. It'll be McIntyre, gorgeous, wonderful, amazing, phenomenal. And then on this side, Gregory McKay and Choice. But I feel like they'll be getting into it about the bathroom. But they share a bathroom right now. And then downstairs will be my husband and I. That way, as the kids grow up, we still have our own privacy and they have their own lives. Um, This home is nice. Babe, what you rate this home? Scale of 1 to 10. He likes it. I like it as well. I love that it does have a loft and it does have a separate theater. So we can definitely go spend time as a family. From the outside, this home does not look that big, guys. But it is a six-bedroom and you can add that extra bathroom. Yep. And then with um the last thing I wanted to tell you guys... I want to see what the seven bedroom look like. Unfortunately, they don't have a model, at least in this county. So she's going to give me the floor plan, but it is still under $100,000, which is, all, I mean, $1 million. Huh? Oh, they're turning on and off by themselves. That's cool. <laughs> this is cool. I love all of the separation. Like, this is old school dream house. I don't love open concepts so much anymore. Yep. I don't know. I might start liking Taylor Morrison a little better than West Bay. You still feel like West Bay got your heart, babe. I think it's the West Bay. 
like the probably the fictions they use and stuff like that make it just look like nah, they, they probably is killing her. The price point is definitely better than a West Bay home. From the outside peach patch, comment down below. Well, I don't know what Woody call y'all, Woody Woodpeckers. Um, from the outside, did you expect this home to be this way? This is, once again, a three-car garage. You just got to pull all the way up, so I did not expect that. And then you do get your front porch, which we love. The only thing that we don't like about this house, I could tell me and my husband would probably cover that, is the outside balcony. No outside balcony. Up top. I think crazy up top. I don't know. But you know what, babe? Would you need a balcony if your room downstairs? If the master downstairs, you still want a balcony? Because probably why they didn't do one. That's like something for us to figure out, guys.